Hello everybody, this is Streamgamer back to kick off round 3 for Group G. Probably one of the tightest groups in this tournament. I mean, look, look, at, look at it. Up first, we're going to see the Light Fury going up against Arctic Warriors. Try taking a crack at Dino Smash. And then the Skrill going up against Nopi. So, yeah. I think critical. I think whoever wins in this round, I think will have a much better chance of going through to the last 32 round. Well, if Tri wins their match against Dino Smash, then they're most likely going to get through. But the fact that they don't have bonus points, whereas some of the other guys do, you know, they 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 catch a ball. Right, let's go with the first match. Oh, we're in the Col. Well, is it just me, or is the Coliseum like the most common battlefield so far in this tournament? Anyway, in the red corner, for the Light Fury, we got Lexi Vasaurus. Light Fury, two defeats from two thus far, but I don't think they're in that much of a perilous situation, even if they lose this match, because of how tight this group has been. So I don't think a loss here would be the end of the world. It'll make it difficult for them, but I don't think it'll be the end of the world. And a win, and they'll be right back in it. Backing up the Lexi Vasaurus, we got Power Power, Super Paris. Await the mode on two. Don't you believe it again? So yeah, a win would be welcome for Light Fury, yet to get off the mark in this tournament. But a defeat wouldn't exactly be the end of the world. Right, in the blue corner for Mr. Arctic Warriors, we've got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Will we ever get to see an Alpha Dinosaur battle on the Alpha in the Alpha Arena? <laughs> Probably, probably not. The Alpha Arena seems to be like the, the least amount, least frequent arena that we see in this tournament. Which is good, because that one causes the most lag. Backing up the Kentrosaurus, we got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Arctic Warriors did very well in round two, getting off the mark with the bonus point win. Looking to make it two wins on the spin. Ooh, is this going to be a tough match to call? This'll be a tough match to call. Ooh, is Lexi getting the first hit there? Ooh, but Kentrosaurus responds with a mole attack. I think it'll be time to swap out the Lexovasaurus. Yes, it will. Oh, hello. We got a Volcano Burst. A rare event here. And the Lexovasaurus has been done. It has been really done. Steak references. Not good at them. Oh, the Lexovasaurus isn't going to swap out. Kentrosaurus gets the hit. Oh, that's big. Superpower is going to get hit. The same and grace is that this superpower will have the type advantage over the Kentrosaurus should it come to that, and it probably will come to that. But this is a strong start from Arctic Warriors, and the tie will confirm the death of Lexovasaurus. But this superpower does have the Awaken mode, and it's probably going to be wasted on this Kentrosaurus, because it's. Well, the Awakening time. Next time, whoever gets after someone gets a hit. Get my words out. Another tie. Wait, was that below half? I think that's below half. Okay, now it definitely is. But so far, no one can get a hit. Oh, Arctic Warriors failed the swap. I think that's going to be all she wrote for the Kentrosaurus. And all of a sudden, now, the Light Fury on top. And I say, even though they got left, Paris took a beat in, this could be why. It's the Awaken mode. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, and if that hits... Oh, but a tie will suit the Light Fury more. Oh, another tie! Arctic Warriors gets the crit. How crucial could that be? Oh, I thought Light Fury was going to win it, but the crit's going to come in there to stop that awakening. Stop Paris getting the hit. It won't be lethal, 
Oh, bloody hell, it almost was. Oh, was that the chance missed? I think that was the chance missed, because now Arctic Warriors is in prime position to win this match. And yet, there it is. Arctic Warriors getting the job done despite a scare from the Awaken mode to get two wins on the spin. And things are looking up for Arctic Warriors in this tournament. As for the Light Fury, well... Well, I said it earlier, a loss wouldn't be the worst, wouldn't be the end of the world, but yeah, it's not good. Not good. But, unlike some of the other combatants in other groups, like Lad and that, Light Fury has a good, still has a decent chance again out this group, because of how tight it is at the bottom. But, they're going to have to win round in round four. Right, anyway. Enough about that. Let's get on with our second matchup. Ooh, interesting. In the red corner, for Dyke, for Try, we have got Pentaceratops. Try two wins from two so far, making to, looking to make it three wins from three and all but secure their place in the last 32. Although, given that I, they haven't had any bonus point wins yet, I don't think this will secure their place in the last 32, but they'll pretty much be there. They'll be like 90% there. <laughs> right, back in up the Pentaceratops, we got Terry Dino Tech, then what field are we on? Okay, Sunset Beach, which doesn't affect anyone in this match. Because we have no water or grass dinosaurs. Come on, no! Well, we've seen what this thing can do, and we've seen Dino Tector in the first two matches for Try. Will we see it again? Probably. In the red blue corner for Dino Smash, we got Ferrazinosaurus. This Ferrazinosaurus is an interesting addition. Well, we saw how effective it could be in round one against Arctic Warriors. Didn't really happen for it in round two, but it did put up a little bit of a late fight back. Backing up the ferry, we got Diceratops. Both of our combatants have lightning dinosaurs in this in this in their teams. And in fact, I think lightning dinosaurs are the least co common dinosaurs in this tournament. Oh no, I think that's grass or wind. But you know load of them in the bot teams to make up for it. Right. No terrain advantages to worry about. Let's get on with the fight. And let's see who wins. Ooh, that's a tie. Starting with a tie there. Gatlin Spark getting triggered. Another tie. Oh, let's not have another tie fest, yeah? Ooh, Dino Smash getting the first hit on the board. That's pretty good there because the attack boost, the defense boost, and the tech boost get activated. So the fairy is going to get a buff. Okay, so Troy wants to swap with HPs in the red. Interesting start there. Ooh, the Pentaceratops responds with a hit of his own though. But yeah, look at that defense boost making a difference already. Oh, that's another tie. I think ties even affect how... I think defense boost even affects how much damage you take in a tie. Crazy, isn't it? But let's see if it can handle a Thunder Driver. It'll be time for the ferry to swap out after this. We'll see if Dino Smash can indeed get that swap. But it's try on top. Again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, defense boost definitely made a difference. With the defense boost, that fairy would have died. Oh, no swapping for the fairy. Oh, hang on. It did survive. Wow, defense boost really making an impact. Oh, but he fails the swap anyway. Things go in Tri's way. Which has pretty much been a summary of their tournament so far. Just big little moments going their way. Like that. Another tie, but this time the, pen, the Diceratops does have Plasma Anchor. Time to swap. Ooh, but not getting the swap. Diceratops not allowing it. Dino Smash coming back into this contest, and Terry Tector will get hit as well. But do 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 Tech Boost come in here, increasing the likelihood of that Plasma Anchor. But I think this Terry has. No, it doesn't. We've got Fire Cannon. 
I was gonna say it has heat eruption, but it doesn't. It's got fire coming. Ooh, that's a tie! Here comes the Plasma Anchor! It's exactly why Dino Smash got the tech boost in its in Diceratops' moveset, so we can get off some Plasma Anchors! Reeling in Terry there, and reeling in the lead! Pretty solid! Ooh, another tie! No Plasma Anchor this time, though! No. Ooh, and it's Terry getting the hit. It's a fire cannon. And I th don't think we're going to see the Dino Tector this time. Boosh! I think both dinosaurs are on too low health. Yeah, definitely. I don't think Diceratops can tank enough ties. And the odds are we're probably going to see, yep, another Plasma Anchor. And that will put... Dino Smash back in the driving seat. Wow, this has been a really tight contest. That Plasma Anchor really helped Dino Smash. Ooh, now things get interesting. A tie will probably favour Dino Smash now, but the Plasma Anchor has been used up, so it's no longer a factor. Oh, Dino Smash has won it! Dino Smash getting the win over Try, putting an end to their winning start, and getting the job done. And in fact, I think that will put Dino Smash level on points with Try on 6. Oh no, it won't. Try will get a losing bonus point to go on 7 points. But that's a big free point for Dino Smash. And Try tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament. Ooh, that was really tight, man. I could have gone either way. Let's see what would have happened next if, say, Terry magically survived. Ooh, so Try would have got the next hit there, so yeah. Those Plasma Anchors were really crucial. Those Plasma Anchors probably won it for Dino Smash. Right, on to our final match of this session. Ooh, interesting, the Volcano Field, which is good news for Nopi. Okie dokie, in the blue red corner. For the Skrill, we got Shunasaurus. Skrill got off to a winning start in round one against... Light, the Light Fury before being defeated in round two by, I think it was Arctic Warriors, yeah. And oh wow, this is really bad for, for the Skrill, because backing up the Shunasaurus, we got Gastonia with terrain disadvantage. Ooh, not a good field if you're the Skrill, but very good if you're Nopi. Ooh, I think that might put swing this match in Nopi's favour, especially because this Triceratops will have type advantage over the Shunasaurus as well. Ooh, could this be an opportunity for Nopi to get another win in this tournament? Could be. We've got the orange Triceratops. Backing up the orange Triceratops, we've got the Eel Carcaria, the Stone Cold Eel Carcaria. Which will have terrain advantage, and well, if it if it has to face the Gastonia, which it could, which it most likely will, it'll go off a crit. Amazing, isn't it? And it's got the Death Fire as well. Ooh, I feel like Nopi could. W I I fancy Nopi to win this match. Watch the Skrill get a bonus point win now. Um, not with a start like that. It's a Thunder Bazooka coming from the Triceratops, and that's the worst possible start if you screw up. Oh, look at that! Alright, um, let's have a look. Yeah, both of them want to swap with HPs below half, so it's time to swap if you're shooting a Saurus. Oh, he needed that swap. Get out of there as fast as he could. And that could be a tactical swap for the Skrill, because the Gastonia, even though it has terrain advantage, does have the type advantage over the Triceratops. And the uh, Shunasaurus will have type advantage over, uh, yeah, to the, ter to the terrain disadvantage. So here's the terrain of disadvantage playing out there. Gastonia again hit with a net crusher. So yeah, the Shunasaurus will have the type advantage over Eocarcaria, so yeah. Tactical swap there by the Skrill. Oop, that's a tie. I think this dude got Sand Trap. But we don't see it. Okay, that's probably bang on half, so we won't swap yet. Ooh. Shaky start from the Skrill, but 
coming back into this contest. Oh, the counter blitz has been triggered. And that's probably good news for Noki because it's time to swap out the Triceratops. Oh, he gets the hit anyway. Doesn't need the counter blitz. I mean, the Gastonia won't take too much damage, but the Eocarcaria comes in. So you know what that means. It's getting a crit. And the Gastonia has to attempt the swap, which it's not going to get. So the Shunasaurus will get hit as well. And, well, all of a sudden, Noki turning the match around and taking a sizable lead. Oh, another hit from the Skrill. Not done yet. Tie Bomb coming in. Ties will be... Well, then again, Eocarc has got Heat Eruption. Ties could be a double-edged sword. But we got a Shockwave. Well, the longer the Eocarcaria stays in, the more that Triceratops feels it. Oh, the Archaeopteryx charm coming in there, putting a stop to that Shockwave. Oh, and another hit from the Eocarcaria. Yeah, look at, yeah, I'd be shocked if Nopi doesn't win at this point. Even if Eocarc dies, Triceratops comes in with type advantage. Yeah, yeah, I think this is going to be Nopi for the win. There's a tie. And yet, there it is. Game over for the Skrill. Yeah, the field didn't help. The type advantages didn't help. And it's Nopi taking a bonus point win. Really utilising that terrain advantage. Oof. As for the Skrill, well, they're going to need to bounce back quick. But in such a tight group, it's not. It's still all to play for. Right, let's have a look at how Group G stands. Well, that result has indeed changed everything, because now all of a sudden, Nopi is top of Group G with 8 points. Then we have Tri and Arctic Warriors level on 7 points, nothing to separate them so far. Dino Smash on 6 points here, getting a crucial win. And then we have the Skrill on 4 points, and then the Light Fury on the Solitary point. So yeah, really interesting, really intriguing round 3, that was really intriguing. Right, let's see how round 4 shapes up. So round 4, we're going to see Dino Smash going up against the Light Fury. Big game for the Light Fury that could be. So yeah, it'll be win or bust, because they're 5 points adrift of Dino Smash. So they'll need probably a bonus point win, ideally, or a, just any win to get them right back into it. And take notes that Tri and Arctic Warriors still have to play each other, which is not this round. So yeah, we will also see Nopi going up against Arctic Warriors. A chance for either of these two to pretty much secure their place in the last 32 round. And then, a big game between the Skrill and Tri. Right, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and until next time, ta-ta!